What's going on everybody? Welcome into the Five Forward Fisherman YouTube channel. Today, you guys can't really see a ton right now, but I am out here with Hayden. We got a beautiful sunset back here behind us. We are actually in the boat today. We're about to go launch the boat and do a little bit of rock fishing. It's really interesting because the rock fishing, oh my God, there was a fishing rod. The rock fishing is really good at night. We got kind of a cool setup here. We got the ring light. So we should be able to have some decent lighting in the boat for you guys. It's also rock fishing is one of the only fisheries that's legal to do at night in Oregon. Yeah, it's one of the very few uh, fisheries that you can do 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, unless otherwise closed. So basically we are gonna uh, figure this out. We're gonna go launch the boat, see if we can catch a fish. So stay tuned, uh, we'll see you guys on the water. <laughs> here and I know that this filming isn't going to be the best quality ever but we do have the ring light and uh yeah I can turn it up a little bit here so that actually looks pretty good and obviously I have a headlamp on so that helps at least a little bit but setup we're rocking is pretty dang simple here using a one ounce jig head with you know big hook and then uh, this is just a gulp uh curly tail on there so yeah we are ready to rock and roll here. We just got what's called the fingers out here in front of us, in front of the boat, which uh, I threw a satellite image up for you guys there, obviously. But yeah, so what we do is we're just kind of sitting here. We're anchored up about 20 feet off of them. The tide is going out behind us. So, you know, we're nose up sitting there. So I'm going to cast this way and we're going to see what we can catch. I'm not going to lie to you guys. We've actually already caught fish off camera, but you guys don't need to know that. You just want to see if it was actually going to be good. I caught a couple rock bass in the copper, and then Hayden's caught a couple bunch. I just got nailed. But yeah, we have a chance to catch like big ling cod, uh, rock bass, coppers, a little bit of everything out here. So, nope, I just got nailed. Come on, dang it! Two bites, two bites and one cast. So yeah, our friend Jimmy the sea lion dipped on us here. Got him. Fish on. Really good one. Fish on for Hayden. What are you throwing, Hayden? A gulp, the, uh, but it's this little gulp, paddle tail. It's, it's a white and paddle tail. Yep. Oh, just got nailed. Come on. I got a. Oh, is it? Yeah. I think it's a net. Is it a big one? Oh my gosh, that's actually. Oh, I just got nailed. Oh, come on, dude. It's net. Hayden, that's a big copper. Yeah, that's a nice copper, dude. Oh gosh, dude, I've missed so many. I think I need to put a different jig head on, Hayden. I don't think this one's sharp enough. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that is a good one. I mean, it's hard to scale with like the GoPro, but I mean, that's probably a maybe two and a half pounder. That's a pretty good copper. Yeah, and he, that's what keep? he's throwing. Are we mm -hmm. keeping? Nah, I wouldn't. Honestly, not yet, because we still have hours out here. But yeah, see, that's what I'm thinking, guys. I might have to put a sharper hook on, because I don't think my hook. These are the, uh, the, the cast jigs at Mazama's. They sell these like bulk. If you guys are in the Eugene area, you know Mazama's. Uh, they got a lot of good stuff down there, but yeah, here's one more look at that fish goes. That's a pretty good one. Okay, so we have we have changed the deal here. So we have a smaller jig head with a brand new hook, and I cut the curly tail down. So because they were short striking them, I mean, you guys can I don't know if you can see, but yeah, that tail is just destroyed. So mine looks like a stock trout. <laughs> the really ugly one. Yeah, the one that has like broken back. Look. That's exactly what it looks like. Oh god, I just got cranked. It's so weird because it's like they hit it and they, they just follow it. What do you pull? Oh. Salt. See, there we go. I knew it, dude. That was the oh he's swimming right at me. It was like that was the only thing I was doing wrong. They're so much heavier out here. Once you get towards the ocean, they oh this is a good one. Oh dude, there was just a ling cod chasing it. Really? Yeah, there was a ling cod chasing it. Yeah, like, look, dude, that's a pretty decent one. Look, guys, not a bad, that's just like a bass there, but yeah, see? So maybe, ow, sharp, maybe making the change there to the 
sharper jig head and all that good stuff makes a bit of difference so here's the deal i'm going to switch up to this little guy that this is what hayden's running but what's happening is with that big curly tail i was throwing it's too big and the fish just can't grab it so it's upside down but but i don't really think these fish care too much so i'm gonna just rock this little one here got him finally dude i just couldn't get them to stay pinned this one's not very big this one's tiny i mean bigger than all this was a small now <laughs> oh god yeah that'd be a nice smallie dude it's like why i leave the dinks to find dinks gosh darn it <laughs> this guy's been caught before like four times he has like 10 holes in his mouth oh my gosh all right y'all so here is an update really quick so this video is taking a slight turn of events here so oh my boat side of my boat but it Anyway, so Hayden and I, uh, we just pulled up the anchor. We're gonna go pull the boat out and then we're gonna head back to the hotel. But tomorrow we're actually gonna do something that neither him or I have ever officially done. And that is actually herring fishing. So we're gonna try to collect some bait for possibly future salmon trolling, sturgeon fishing, crab bait, just kind of whatever. So we're gonna go, we're gonna pull the boat out, go back to the hotel, get some sleep. Current time right now is it is 11 15 and yeah we got one nice uh china rockfish and then one just black bass so yeah focus on me please mr camera but yeah we are uh gonna go pull the boat up go back to the hotel so we'll see you guys and i'll show you guys the hotel and then uh yeah gonna figure out what we're gonna do tomorrow good morning everybody it's nine o'clock and uh, yeah, I didn't show you guys the hotel last night because we didn't get to the hotel until almost one in the morning. We went in and passed the heck out. But we're actually here at this tackle shop called Stabby Dave's and I've never been here before and I don't think Hayden's been here before. I think it's Stabby Dave's. Stabby, okay, well, whatever. Stabby, but anyways, Stabby. so we got some sabiki rigs here because we're obviously gonna go catch some herring. But I do have one other thing that I wanna open and this thing was $5, so we're gonna see if it's actually worth it. But it is, copyright claim. Um, <laughs> it is a mystery tackle bag, and it was $5, and it could be worth up to $20. So I'm gonna open it, and we're just gonna see what's in this thing, because I like to gamble. I am a gambling degenerate. Not gonna lie, these would have been so clutch last night. <laughs> yeah, they would. Dude, look at these. Those would have honestly been really good last night. That's pretty slick. Uh, we got a weird little, there's actually a bunch of cool stuff in here. Bait, we got some bait floaters. I knew everything was gonna be on sale. That's how they usually do it. And then uh, whatever this thing is, I have no clue what that thing is, but it's like a little jig guy there. And then there's a couple other things in here. All this stuff is just super old stuff that goes on sale. So I mean, obviously it's not gonna be super good. This is actually kind of nice. That's pretty sick. Threadfin Shad hard bait. Um, a Wally Wog. I have no clue what that is, but a Wally Wog. And uh, what is this? An Apex Trout Killer. That honestly will probably catch a bunch of trout. So, I mean, that's pretty good. That thing was $350, $225. I'm sure, yeah, this thing was $550, $1.50, $750. So I definitely got at least $5 yeah. worth of stuff. I mean, that's a pretty good grab bag. I saw the first one and I was like, I'm just going to grab it. This one's calling my name. That's pretty slick though. I mean, I got all these items for five dollars. Can't really complain too much. But Hayden and I are uh, we got to go get some gas in the boat, do a couple things, and then we're gonna go launch the boat and see if we can catch some fish. So stay tuned. We we'll see you guys on the water. All right, y'all, we've made it out here to the beautiful fishing spot. We are already on the herring. We already have a couple in the bucket, but look at the screen here. All of that red on the bottom of the fish finder is all herring. Over there. Oh God, sea lions. 
So the, all those hearing that we were on just spooked. Yeah, all those hearing are just getting demolished, but we are gonna jump on the GoPro. We're gonna catch a ton of bait, and then uh, we're gonna end up using it in future videos, which is gonna be super baller. But yeah, let's see how many we have. Oh, dude, there's so many right there jumping. We have two, four, we have five, but we've only casted like three times. So we're gonna jump on the GoPro, see if we can catch some more herring. Stay tuned. So for those of you guys that don't know, fishing for herring is actually super simple. We're just using what's called a sabiki rig, and it has a bunch of these little hooks with glow things on them here. So all we do is just kind of give it a flip off the boat. I mean, we're going by a giant ball of herring right here. So let it fall all the way to the bottom. You just kind of go like this and just slightly jig it. And I just got bit, just got bit, just got bit. Oh, look, oh, I just had one. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, they already got some. Look at that. I got two. See, it's super easy. We just catch a ton of them. Open the cooler and start chucking them in there. Yeah, pretty much. So we just go like this. We go up here to the cooler. Set the weight. And all I'm going to do is go like this because they have such soft mouths you can just pull them off. You don't even have to really unhook them. You are allowed 25 pounds per person. So, I mean, we're probably not going to get that much, but we're going to try. So, I mean, we're going to at least have enough for bait for quite a while, honestly. Yeah, you just got to keep an eye on the screen because look at that. We're just going over huge, huge balls of herring. You got me going? Little guy. <laughs> we are catching them. This is probably super boring, but this is honestly such a good way to get bait though. There's so many right here. That's, oh, I got two. I got, oh, I got three. Oh God, I got three. Oh gosh, Hayden, I can't even get them in the boat. Hayden, I got three. I've got four. Oh, look at mine, look at mine. Oh my God. Oh, I have five. Oh, herring. Look at this freaking big fish. <laughs> Holy cow. They're all big no, ones. my monster. They're all big ones too. Yeah, we need to like just keep going over that ball of them right there. Guys, check this out. Oh, where'd they go? You guys might be able to see them here, but I'm going to stick the GoPro underwater. There is a whole like thousand freaking million fish cloud of herring right here. I'm going to try to stick you guys down and we'll see if you can see them here. But Hayden and I are done fishing for herring. We are gonna go out towards the ocean and go see if we can catch some jetty fish. So yeah, I don't know if we're gonna catch anything, but we are gonna give it our dangdest try here. So stay tuned and uh, we will see you guys once we get out there uh, somewhat towards the ocean. <laughs> You can run that. I don't feel like running it right now. Fish, fish, yep, 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 yep. Big one, big one. Big one, dude, big one, big one. Look at this, it's running, dude. Big one. Okay, I got the net ready. Big fish, biggest one I've hooked yet. No, he's in the rocks. Okay, come on. Oh, dude, it's a big one. I think it's a link rod, dude. It's gotta be the way it's fighting, or it's the biggest black bass I've ever caught. Oh my god, dude, it's actually like fighting. It's a link rod, it's a link rod, it's a link rod. Wait, no, it's not. Cabazon. Is that? Yeah. Can you keep those? No. Oh, really? Yeah, they're out of season right now. Dude, it was fighting so hard. Look at that, dude. That's so cool. It's blue. Yeah, he's got a blue They're also like notoriously bad at identifying ocean species, so. Yeah. Yeah. He just spit up a bunch of shit. Did he? Yeah, look. Oh, weird. It's like octopus, dude. Well, that was cool. 
So unfortunately, we forgot to film an outro for this episode, but, oh, dude, focus on me, yo. There we go. But anyways, uh, we had a fantastic time. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, do leave a thumbs up. I'm actually really excited. I'm in my brand new vehicle right now. So I just wanted to say uh, thank you guys for supporting me. Uh, without you guys, I wouldn't be able to fund things like this. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited. This was a huge purchase, huge purchase for the YouTube channel. So it'll be really exciting. Those of you that follow me on Instagram already know what it is because Instagram is a lot more live posting and then YouTube is obviously like quite a ways out of time. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. We'll see you guys on the next fishing adventure and on the next episode or within the next couple episodes, you guys will be getting a reveal of what this vehicle is. Go leave a comment down below on what uh, you guys think this vehicle is.